Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be playing in a lace wig. As you guys can see, this is a braided lace wig and it's been so long since I've done one on my channel. In fact, I have only think I've done a braided wig on my channel once before and it was years ago. So this is much, much, much needed. So this one here comes from a company by the name of Wig Encounters. Here I'm just giving you a close up of what it looks like straight out of the box. Now this is a lace front wig and they braided all of the hair on it. So you guys can see this is the closure space or the lace space where you'll have like the parting and in the back there are like wefted tracks and they did just braid individual braids onto the hair that was on the track now the wig i'm wearing here is a headband wig and i have a tutorial on how i installed this and all the details and specs that is the last video i uploaded before this one so make sure you guys check that out after you finish watching and shopping from this video now this here is my prep i'm gonna go ahead and make the wig cap that i already have on blend with my skin a little bit better i just want like around the braids the fake scalp to look as natural and realistic as possible and here we are ladies and gentlemen this this one is so beautiful. Let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful she is. So we're gonna go ahead and install and customize her. It's gonna be super simple and easy. All you're gonna need is your glue or adhesive of choice, some shears, and if you wanna add like powder to the parting or something like that, you'll need that as well. And of course, so the one thing you'll notice is the wig cap definitely shines through. I went ahead and finessed it and I just kind of slid the wig cap like all the way back and now you can't see it at all. I would highly recommend that you do the ball cap method with this wig just so that everything can be flawless and you can have that cap protecting your hairline in the front. But you know, to each its own. It's definitely a way to finesse it if you don't have the time or you just don't feel like doing all of that work. Now here's a good close up of what the hairline looks like. Again, you also have the option to tweeze out the hairline if you want to and then here is a look at the back as I said before there are tracks in the back and the braids are pretty much braided or you know like basically braided hairs attached to hair on the tracks so it's not that noticeable from the back just in passing but if you just wanted to like put half up half down like through a track you definitely would be able to see that I think they did an amazing job the alternative is they could have done it on a full lace wig but this way the wig is definitely more durable so I went ahead and pushed all the hair out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and cut off the excess lace in the meantime I would like to direct you to the description box where I have a coupon code for you guys you can enter Ashley 25 at checkout and you'll get money off also a few specs on this wig it is 24 inches in length those parting space towards the back is four inches it is of course a glueless cap um, the size they gave is average I would say that if you are um, like have a big head, I would go up a size if possible. Um, the lace color is light brown. And yeah, make sure you check it out. Of course, there's a link in the description box. We use minimal items to complete this look. And of course, everything I use is also in the description box. Now, with the hairline and cutting off the excess lace, I did go ahead and use like the um, eyebrow razor that you would get from the beauty supply store. And I also use my shears wherever needed. Now, I want to make the lace look like scalp so I did apply that same foundation I applied on the cap inside of the lace and I'm going to go ahead and blow dry that until it's dry and as you guys can see this gave the scalp more of a kind of a scalp like look to it it is a little bit on the red side so it's a matter of having the right foundation to fit the lace now I'm going to bond it down as I said before this is a non glue adhesive process but this is pretty much a holding spray and I'm pretty much going to get like a good thick layer on it using a rag to make sure it doesn't drip down my face I'm going to work in sections and we're going to blow dry this till it's dry in the center and then on the left side and then on the right side or vice versa and you really 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 want to make sure that the blow dryer is on a cool setting so that the install is super flawless if you use the blow dryer on a hot setting it's going to make it like sticky and it's going to have that residue look there and that is why it's so important to go on a cool setting and you guys can see the transformation before your eyes no glue and look how beautiful that hairline looks already
I'm so impressed with the lace on this wig. Look how seamless that looks along the hair line. That is absolutely gorgeous and with minimal work. As I said before, be sure to use your blow dryer on a cool setting. If you use a hot setting, and you guys know I love to use a hot setting because it makes it go much faster and you guys always can tell whenever I use a hot setting on my blow dryer because it has that residue craziness and we had none of that with this application so I'm so proud of myself and this looks so amazing I feel like practice makes perfect and I always say that but I really really have been impressing myself with some of the work that I've been doing lately you just have to have a little bit of patience to get it right now from here I'm going to go ahead and customize around the ear. As you guys can see this braid literally is sitting on top of my ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my shears and literally cut this entire braid off. That's going to allow me to be able to pull my ear through and then the wig is going to literally cuff my ear ears to make it fit perfectly now you can also notice that there is a whole braid on my sideburn now if you get your braids done your um, cosmetologist would definitely not braid your sideburn in that way the wig is made to fit any size head so in that case for some people that like basically the way their head sh is shaped that may not sit on their sideburn the way it sits on mine but for me it kind of is an awkward placing I like it there because it kind of acts as an angle Anchor, but I am thinking about removing it and not just cutting it off because I don't want to lose that lace space but more so just um, unraveling the braid tweezing it out a little bit so that it's a little bit thinner and then just doing a sideburn situation right there because if I cut off the lace I feel like I would be missing that lace if that makes sense it would make the wig a little bit ill-fitted so now that we have a complete install, I'm going to do a half up, half down and kind of just show you what that looks like. I'm also going to show you how it looks if you put this into a top knot bun. I literally look like I just sat in a chair for like six hours and got my hair box braided and I literally achieved this look in about 10 minutes or less. So the next step is going to be to work on the baby hair. I like that they gave it you some, but they didn't leave it super thick where you were stuck, like, you know, pretty much having to be a professional. If you want to keep it at this thickness, I'm going to show you exactly what it's going to look like. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down a little ways above the eyebrow. We're going to use some foam lotion. It's super to my liking. I'm also going to add a scarf around it, re-blow dry it so that the hairline is dry because if it's wet, it's going to move since we didn't use real glue and then we're going to go ahead and play with it some more so you can see that you can still go back in and customize it even more. Now what I find is that this piece of elastic is essential. You'll see hairstylists use it and it's a great way to hold the wig down. If you're putting the hair half up, half down or into a ponytail, even if you're chilling on the couch just watching TV, I highly recommend you get yourself a piece of elastic that is big enough to use, kind of like a headband, and this is going to always hold and secure the lace, and it makes a huge difference in making your lace look melted. I'm absolutely in love with the way this wig came out. My only issue is my dilemma of I'm going to cut off that sideburn or not. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I added color to the lace on the inside as you guys seen and it made a huge difference but if you want to add powder on top at the hairline or anything like that you can definitely do that as well i'm just going to go ahead and play with the baby hair to my liking and then of course we'll talk about the wig live Absolutely in love 
with the way she came out. Now, do I want to have her swoop to this side or to this side? I think this side is my side. Yeah, I like it down. So typically I like to put the braids up, but I do feel like because I bond I bonded it down with a non-glue adhesive, um, it's on there and it's tight. It's not going anywhere, but I just feel like that tension of pulling it because the braids are they're not necessarily heavy for braids, but because it's a wig, it, a wig, and they attached extra hair onto it, it's a lot more heavier. So I just feel like it's more likely for the braids to, um, or the wig itself to kind of lift a little bit easier. So this is one that I'm keeping. You guys know I do wig sales, and I really do re or resell actually um, majority of my wigs this is one in the stash that I am keeping I always feel like you have to go to the Africans to get the good braided wigs but wig encounters really 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 just changed the game and did their stuff with this one I absolutely love it again sometimes you feel like with these wigs they are a little bit too heavy this one is very lightweight I just went upstairs to feed my daughter and I in passing my mirror I kind of look at the wig and I don't know if you guys can tell but it forms to my head pretty good like it's not a big bulky wig it's very very conforming and my hair under this wig is in a twist out that I kind of just like put all the twists back into um a bun low I wish today was a day where my hair was actually braided right because I wasn't expecting to like this wig I was supposed to film this right before I went to Missouri and this was supposed to be my Missouri hair now I'm kind of mad I did not wear this in Missouri because I honestly didn't think it was gonna be this good like Africans did not make this wig and usually that's how you get the bomb wigs now I will say if you are someone who has gotten your hair braided recently since it's been trendy to do so or if you grew up getting your hair braided as I did as a child, you know one of the last steps in getting your hair braided is that your braider is always going to dip the ends in hot water. My cousin did majority of my braids. Um, I have other cousins who did them. Sometimes I went to the hair salon but majority my cousin Kiki always did my braids and at the end she'd always dip them in hot water she'd have the jug like the little kool-aid jug she filled it with boiling hot water that she boiled on the stove and if i'm not mistaken she would put like baby oil in it so they would smell really really good um if you don't want to use baby oil i'm sure you can use like olive oil coconut oil or whatever the case may be and that is going to make the ends look super good i'm not going to do that tonight just because i'm about to um wrap it up and go to bed i really 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 want to wear this wig like literally to the wheels fall off so again i think with this one like if i really really want to wear it on a daily basis i would probably more so um bond it down with like my actual like a ghost bond just so that you know like we're out it's on there, but again, I just feel like it's more likely than a regular lace wig to lift, especially because we are in the hottest um, point of summer. It is going into September, which it's Virgo season. I'm a Virgo and my birthday is on the 18th, so send me a birthday card to my P.O. box if you love me because I would love, love, love to receive some birthday cards from you guys. Um, anyways, the shameless plug, but yeah. Um, it's gonna be hot this next couple of weeks. I'm I'm going to sit. I'm just. Ugh. It's gonna be hot these next couple of weeks. So like you got to be glued and your bed head probably is more likely to lift. I really like it down. But again, if I'm gonna wear it half up, half down, I feel like I need to bond it down at least on the sides a little bit better because if it starts lifting and you're out, you really can't camouflage it. Also. I really like having this one right here as a sideburn, but I feel like I'm going to have to unbraid this, cut off a little bit of this, and then use the, utilize it as more baby hair, just because I feel like this is the braid that's more likely to lift when I'm in public and give me issues. And even more so on this side, you guys see how on this side it comes a little bit lower. I really kind of sort of want to keep it because I like it, but it's kind of awkward that it's like a sideburn, so I'm probably going to cut it. But you guys know, as I say, when you do your install, if there are things that you want to do but you're not sure about, wait till the next day and do it. Like, 
it's not the end all be all because I don't want to wake up tomorrow and regret that I removed this but at the same time I just feel like it doesn't flow and I just don't want to like directly cut it out because then my cap will be like kind of bald and missing some lace I want to keep the lace I just want to take the braid out and you know do maybe a sideburn situation I don't know let me know what you guys think how I'm going to wear it to bed tonight is I'm going to use the same elastic. This works really good and this works better than any styling strips or any scarves. You guys know I'm always in a scarf around the edges even if my hair is down around the house. But this kind of gives you a little bit more reassurance and this is literally just elastic from the roll. I have the one I buy on Amazon linked in the description box and all I'm going to do is just lay this flat on top around making it tight enough so that it won't move no matter how much I sleep tonight and then even when I get in the shower in the morning if the lace gets a little bit wet I'll keep this on like through my shower when I get out the shower when I come down and cook the kids breakfast so that even if it gets wet in the shower normally if you leave the scarf on or in this case the elastic it'll dry back down and reset and kind of like not lift if that makes any sense so I'm gonna wear this and then I'm gonna put like a big scarf over it like maybe put the wig like this tie a big bandana style scarf over it and let the braids probably just lay back like this I don't want to cause any um, crimps in the hair so I'm just gonna let it back, lay back like this and then tomorrow um, once I'm done dealing with the kids I'll probably go in and dip it in so that they're super nice um, I kind of want this to be my birthday hair though like I don't know why but I really 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 like it you guys haven't really seen me in braids too often during this braid trend and I finally have found one that I absolutely love so make sure you check out this one it is from wig encounters as I said before and I am pleased you guys see how nice the hairline looks and of course you can thin this out too. I really didn't use the tweezers and thin it out at all. But again, over the next couple of days, as I wear the wig, fall in love with it, each day I'll do something different to continue to customize it until it's exactly what I want. But for now, I do like the thick baby hair here. So let me know what you guys think. If you are someone who doesn't like baby hair, when it comes to a wig like this, what would you do with the baby hair provided? Would you cut the lace behind that? Would you tweeze it all out? Or would you just thin it out a little bit? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, it's Virgo season. I'm super excited. We're almost into the month of September. So go ahead and send me a birthday card to my P.O. box or even just DM me happy birthday. September 18th is my birthday. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Put them onto a cute little braided wig. If you don't want to commit to getting braids and sitting there for hours getting them installed, this is an amazing alternative. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!